a beautiful soul sister and myself, <laughs> along with so many that just took part in her incredible tantric puja gathering of the divine masculine and feminine, honouring each other with our beautiful gifts and energy that is combined. It was super duper special, totally touched my heart. This is one woman that's totally exploring her creative vibration and bringing her gifts to conscious festivals and other events around the world. Thanks for today, SJ, it was incredible. Oh, thank you, Jackie. How do you feel with your response from the class? Do you know, it was funny because um, I teach at so many different festivals and events and you know, when you're kind of at a music festival and you know, find there's the, the wellness tent, you think, oh, how tantric should we get? Are people going to be into this? And even um, I could feel in myself like a little bit of resistance this morning. Like I'm like, oh, I don't know whether they'll be down with it. But everybody was so open and, you know, really watching the, the men hold space for the women. And then when the men were dancing yes. and just allowing themselves to be fully seen as either, you know, fully in their masculine or actually quite vulnerable and yes. sexy. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it was really beautiful. And it must feel really powerful for you to be able to share these uh, these beautiful groups and teachings with your husband, Joe. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Joe actually just said to me a minute ago, because I, I must admit I can be, I, I went into wife mode when you did something. I was like, no, not that track. <laughs> I saw that. Whoopsie, not appropriate. I got in trouble. But you know, I do feel, yeah, I mean, he has been such a... Uh, a key role in me being able to step into what I'm doing now and I guess fully realize my gifts as a space holder and um, yeah I guess just a guide to help people remember this deeper connection you know I'm no elevated teacher by any means I'm just holding the space and creating the environment and maybe giving you some tools to remember what you already know you That's know right and um, Ever since I met Joe um, three and a half years ago, or whatever it was, um, yeah, it's almost like for both of us, we are the sacred masculine and feminine. It's like the when he stepped into the role as my sacred masculine, um, I was able to blossom and go, wow, okay, it's all happening. And it's almost the same. I hold space for him in my masculine too, and he's blossomed into all of his creativity. And we're kind yes. of, you know, a lot of people say the idea of a twin flame is dead because everybody is so like oh but I'm waiting to meet my twin flame and everyone's like no but you need to find it within which you do obviously however having um, having somebody to balance you and anchor you and help you um, you know see you you know yes. see you, be the mirror to you is so valuable whether they are your twin flame or not just having that person to keep you anchored um, yeah I, so I feel so much gratitude to my husband and yes I do see us co-facilitating things more I don't know what that means yet but I I'm told that it's happening so it's probably gonna happen well from a goddess sister to another it's been a pleasure watching mm. this divine union of love between you and Joe blossom after these last few years together um, SJ and I come from a very similar background we've both been around touring festivals around the world for many years from a real party girl background and yeah. now we've really sort of stepped into our own of what is our mission in life. Can what? I say Jackie looks great in an afro wig. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I wanted to wear it in one of the interviews. <laughs> <laughs> well, queen of dressing up, that's definitely what I'm also here to bring, is light and laughter and sense of humour. But I definitely have to say that it's it's been really powerful just to see how that divine union when we're creating with the masculine and feminine really makes a huge difference. The way we can, like you said, blossom together and sharing that with you both today felt, I mean, I feel right now very peaceful in my heart and very balanced and it's when those two energies are creating together that there is that that harmony in creation so um, I can't wait to share another cacao ceremony with you your next uh, yeah, class that next you're up. bringing on yeah Absolutely. which again I'm sure it'll be a Shiva Shakti cacao ceremony I really feel as I was just saying in our workshop um, you know this is what our world needs we're so we've been so out of balance for so long so this is this is this is this whole process of right. coming back into balance and, and you know everybody has different paths and different tools that they want to do want to, want to use I mean some people like Tantra like I do I don't know I'm not really of any real school or lineage I just teach what 
what feels right. Um, but you know, there are many different ways to come back into balance, I guess is what I'm saying. And yeah, but it's the medicine our world needs. And you agree now that these conscious festivals are really changing in a way that they're bringing so much of a, a more element of healing and sacred space. So people can really understand what sacred space means mm -hmm. and, and come here to elevate their vibration and their awareness, their conscious awareness. This is a perfect, uh, I guess, grounding space for this. I mean, every single class that I've been witnessing here at Lost Paradise has been bursting out the seams. It's almost like they need a bigger Shambhala tent because the capacity is, you know, it's, it's yeah. huge. So I'm excited to see what tomorrow will bring when I teach my workshop, Living yeah. in the Present, and take part in the SJ's cacao ceremony tonight. So I think just with the festivals as well, I was teaching at this same festival last year and I remember thinking to myself, okay, yeah, they have this the Shambhala area. I wonder what it will be like. And I feel like almost last year there were two festivals going in one. There were people who were in every single workshop fully at the same, same thing. I was like, well, we need a bigger space for this. Yes. Like, this is what everybody wants. Here I was yeah. thinking they were just wanted to come and dance and, yeah. you know, have a party. But no, it's really, I, I've seen the shift over the last, you know, in particular over the last five years. This yes. is, people are like, I just want to know what I want to pick up what you're laying down. Yeah. I want to be here. I'm ready to have my heart blown wide open. Yes. I'm ready for you to blow my mind because I'm having these experiences within me that are telling me I need to remember stuff. Mm. And and finishing, I guess finishing off 2015 as mm. well is uh, important that we can come here and we can really be grateful for what we've accomplished in 2015, set our intentions for 2016 with an open heart and an open mind and and be really ready to, I guess, co-create and collaborate together. This has been a really powerful place just to see how these collaborations have been really working and just, you know, coming together almost synchronistically. There's so many people that I've seen like, how did you guys start to this little, um, you know, your, their energy or their teachings together. And it's just come from walking around the festival, running into someone saying, yes, come and be part of what we're teaching. And it's it's this synchronicity and um, just being open to the now that's allowing people to, you know, be free, be free to explore, you know, what's available to us now. And also this, um, I really love the energy of collaboration and it's funny like even I just got a little emotional then <laughs> um, because you know like Jackie was saying we've both been on a similar journey and now it's like we kind of you know we were we were the ones who forgot to go to bed ever really <laughs> whoopsie um, but we we're very fun um, but now we've kind of and now we're here together again uniting in something new and beautiful we have another sister Rachel who is you know, very, very similar and it's kind of such an honor to be going, yeah, let's let's just keep, you know, it's not about, you know, oh, this is my work that I do. This is our work to birth this new earth. Absolutely. You know, and, this is, and then, you know, it's way easier doing things with other people than on your own. It so is. It's, you know, it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah, and I do appreciate your love and support with uh, my encouragement for what I'm birthing now, Thrivality. It was a blessing to hear your powerful words to, and encouragement and love and support of you know, my journey and, and having the confidence to come out and be able to speak the way I feel my, you know, my mission is heading. So that, that meant a lot to me, sister. Wow, I'm proud of you. Thank you, and I have to also say that it was uh, an absolute pleasure at Burning Man this year taking part as the marriage celebrant, marrying this uh, beautiful twin flame relationship. I have to say it was something that touched my heart so deeply to be part of uh, this beautiful love that exists between you two. Yeah, thank you so much. I really, um, it's a little off topic, but even it's like, from when I met Joe, I'm in fine, I have a lot of vision and stuff. I'm very called to do the work that I do. Um, it's not really a conscious thought, I just kind of go, this is what I need to do. Um, but it's almost, yeah, when I tuned in with Joe and when we came together, for both of us, it was like, our mission is complete. It's like, our mission is to inspire love. And I really feel that we do that as a couple. You sure um, do, you absolutely yeah. do. <laughs> and it's almost like, I was like, wow, maybe we don't even have to do anything else. You know, we get so attached to need to do more. And I was like, no, this is, this is our purpose 
to inspire love. Well, as witnesses, yeah. we all feel it. So thank what you, sister. What an effortless, epic life then. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Ha 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 